Well, I uh, was raised Roman Catholic, which has its own problems. At uh, 14, I was thrown out of the house, so my uh, perspective on the world grew quite a bit at that time. Uh, and I was going through the 60s, so that is a, a time of quite a bit change. Um, when I first came out as to myself as a, as a gay person, it was back in the time when we didn't have churches, community centers, or anything like that. We basically had the bars. So some of us got together and um, started uh, on a Sunday morning at one of the bars, the gay bars, a little church group. And so that's how it all started, you know, some of this started. And so it was a very interesting atmosphere for church. We had the smell of the beer and the, everything else. And, uh, but that was how it was in the beginning because we didn't have any place else to go. Then as I, I went through life, uh, we, I went through several different, tried different churches because I wanted a spiritual life and uh, went to places that I thought would be workable. There was one church that accepted me one or two times and then when they found that I was homosexual, said they didn't want me there, so that they couldn't work with me. And then I found the Quaker meeting. They had an ad in a, no, a newspaper we have locally called Between the Lines. And that ad said that they were opening and welcoming. So I always was interested in the Quakers and I went there and they were so friendly and warm and kind and accepting. Well, they have always been progressive and they also have a large group of people with the American Friends Service Committee that is very active in developing the faith base. I had a Jewish friend who basically said, well, seeing as you're being gay, you, might, you have no restrictions because you don't have any Bible to go to. So you can be as crazy as you, you want to be. Uh, and it does, it, it, it leaves an emptiness in you. But on the other hand, it, it gives you no moral standards in a way. You feel that you're not, you're offensive to some spiritual person. And that affects your whole psyche of how you look at life and the things you do. When you find a community like the Quakers in my case, and they have wonderful structure and they, they, they're supportive and they live very wonderful moral lives and you know you can be openly gay with them, it, it makes you, you know, feel that you're, you're a full, valuable person. So many of the young people I talk to, they want to be actively gay, lesbian, you know, LGBT, and yet they're missing that spiritual point in their lives. And now that we have a growing group of uh, spiritual leaders and organizations that we can come to, we still have to make it known to the public, the LGBT public, because a lot of them don't realize that they can be gay and also have a spiritual life.